Hello, I am Dr. Abhishek Sharma. Today we will discuss the application of probability theory in communication engineering. The communication systems have to deal with a different type of signals in different environments. The most important classification of these signals is deterministic signals and random signals. The nature and behavior of the deterministic signals is predictable. And when these signals is applied to a system, the output of the system is also predictable. In case we have the information of impulse response of the system. Now, if the signals are random in nature, then the behavior of the output of the system cannot be predictable. We cannot predict the behavior of the system in presence of random signals. To deal with this randomness, we use a very specific and important branch of mathematics, which is probability theory. The probability theory is a very known topic to everyone. Some of the aspects we can discuss it now. The most common assumptions of probability for the event A and B are as follows which is P of A. This is the probability of occurrence probability of occurrence of event A. Similarly, P of B is also probability of occurrence of event B. Now P A union B is the probability of occurrence of event A or event B. Similarly, P of A intersection B is the probability of occurrence of event A and event B. Point to be noted this is intersection denotes and and union is or. Union means the probability that either A or B occurs simultaneously and probability of A intersection B is the probability that event A and B both happen simultaneously. Similarly, P of B by A means the probability of event B when 
द इवेंट ए हैज ऑलरेडी हैपन दिस टाइम द कंडीशन पी ऑफ बी बाई ए is considered as conditional probability conditional probability the additional probability theorem which gives a relation between p of a union b and p of a intersection b is given by p of a union b is equal to p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b now the most important theorem of probability is bayes theorem now to understand the bayes theorem let us consider an example let there be n trials let there be n trials of an experiment in which the event a occurs n one time of these trials event b occurs n two times then it is clear that n two is the number of times then it is clear that n2 is the number of times that the joint event a intersection b occurs now p of a intersection b will be given by limit n tends to infinity n2 upon n where capital n is the total trial we can also represent this equation with limit of
n tends to infinity n2 upon n into n1 upon n1 that means we can write it as limit n tends to infinity n2 upon n1 into n1 upon n and it may be expressed as p of b by a into p of a where p of a is the number of n1 upon n where n1 is the n1 times event a occurs so we can write it as p of a intersection b is equal to p of a into p of b by a we can also express p of a intersection b as p of b to p of a by b